Hello and welcome back to The Deborah Peters Show. I am absolutely thrilled to be connecting with you again. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I just have a whole new set of tools to share with you. And that is because I took a 30 day road trip through seven states working from my laptop and really doing some personal growth work on myself and gaining a whole lot of downloads and epiphanies and a, and a higher level of awareness that I have now built into all of our autumn, winter and spring of 2021 programs. And so through this channel, I'm going to share some of those with you and give you something to look forward to because the future is really where we want to put our attention now. So before I get going down that path too far, I would like to invite you to hit the subscribe button and there's a little bell next to that subscribe button. Please click that. So when I upload new videos, you get a message, it comes right out to you and lets you know that I have new fresh content on the channel. I'll probably do that about once a week and then in between maybe some little one minute clips that'll just kind of fill in the gaps and keep you going. Also, if you like this content, don't be shy, you're welcome to share it and definitely hit the like button because what that does is it tells YouTube that I have cool stuff and it puts it into the feed for other people to find. And wouldn't it be wonderful as we build this community to have a whole lot of people around that are connecting on this level of being able to take responsibility for your happiness and to be able to create the life that you would like to create. Because it is time, my friends, to look toward the future. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for hitting that bell and absolutely appreciate that big old thumbs up. Now, you can also comment. So what I would like to know is what kind of content would you like from me? Is there particular areas of your life that you would like to work on? Is there something going on with your business that you would like some assistance with? Are you looking at up leveling your health and your fitness and and maybe you need some guidance there. You know, I used to own a gym. So we can cover every area that you would like to cover. And I would like to know what it is that you would like to put some emphasis on. So definitely comment below and let me know. So yeah, September. Well, let me say this, that it wasn't really planned that I would take a whole month and travel. Although in the back of my mind, I was definitely ready to get out and explore. You know, usually by the autumn of the year, usually by September, I've been to, to Europe, the UK, maybe three times, you know, there and back, working with clients, speaking at conferences, and obviously that did not happen this year. So in June, I started taking these little road trips. And as I, I rolled towards September, you know, the end of July is my birthday. And so I had a little, a little soiree with all my trusted besties. And um, I decided, okay, what I was gonna do is I was gonna go somewhere really cool for Labor Day weekend and do some outdoor stuff. I absolutely love being out in nature because what nature does for me, and I think really truly for all of us, is it enables us to recharge. You know, the negative ions, the just the energy that comes from nature can completely turn your health around if you're having health challenges. If you're having mental health issues, if you're having depression, you know, getting out in nature and breathing the air and, and listening, just, you know, listening to the birds chirp and hanging out in, I know I totally sound like a tree hugger, but <laughs> what can I say? Hanging out with the trees and, 
and and being out in the flowers and just you know being outdoors and away from anything that's kind of man-made is a wonderful way to recharge your battery so i took myself on this road trip for a long weekend and i decided to to go hiking in zion national park and i've been blogging about that so if you get on my email list then I will be able to add you into that and you can, you can have access to my blogs. Because there's so much that I went through on a personal growth level that is pretty challenging to, to be able to put it all here on a recorded video. I'm gonna do my best to relay some of that information in the upcoming videos, just so you know. Um, but the blogs do go into a lot more detail and I, I would absolutely love to share that with you. So what I'd like to leave you with today is how to actually get the life that you want. Because maybe, maybe as you're watching this, you're saying to yourself, well, there's just no way that I could manage to have a 30 day road trip. You know, I have to do this and I have a family and I have to, I have a boss and you know, whatever, I don't have any money or whatever your situation is. Um, so I would like to turn my experience into a portal for you to be able to utilize to create whatever experience you would like to have. And maybe that's not a 30 day road trip. Maybe it is, I don't know, but it, whatever it is, it doesn't matter in terms of the specificity, it is the energy of it. So I'm gonna focus mostly on the energy and what the energy creates and how to get into the right energy that enables you to create the experiences that you would like to have rather than feeling stuck or unable to, to live the life that you wanna live. Many of us have been in a lockdown you know, probably most of us in severe lockdown. I know for, for me, I'm in California and we have been, we have been in an incredibly suppressive environment and it was really starting to take its toll on me. By the time I left town for Labor Day weekend, I, I really was on the verge of of um, you know just getting ill in some level whether that was you know lack of energy uh, lethargy you know just lack of drive and enthusiasm and I'm a coach and I have tons of tools to to repattern myself but the thing you have to be aware of is that your environment has a massive impact on you and when it's coming at you it's like an assault on your nervous system sometimes the only thing you can do is just to get out of the environment. So if that's a goal of yours, you can use the tools that I'm teaching you here and apply it to that. Maybe you're not even feeling that and maybe your goal is just to, to increase your wealth or perhaps you want to move to a different state or a different city or you know whatever it is that your goal is, this is an energy that you can play off of and then you can fine tune that energy towards the specificity of what it is that you would like to create, whatever it is that you would like to be, do and have in your life and in your business. So most importantly, it really is about feelings. Now you've heard me talk about this in previous videos that yes, Having a vision is really, really important, um, but it's really not enough. And this is the, the missing link that we just have not been taught. I don't know why we haven't been taught that. Maybe the teacher didn't know it. Um, maybe they withheld it. I really couldn't say. Although I think that we are at a higher level of consciousness in humanity now where we're really at a, a critical mass of being self-aware that we can't just think whatever negative thoughts we want 
and allow ourselves to go into negative emotions and then expect our lives to look fabulous, rosy, and, you know, plush. So we do get what we focus on most of the time. So essentially what that means is, you know, wherever you put your focus is where your energy goes. And then like experiences in your life start to show up to, to reflect that because that's where your energy is. So for me to take this trip, was an opportunity for me to really disconnect from all of the energy that was around me and to get out on the open road, to disconnect from large cities of people enabled me to recalibrate and hit the reset button and get into a higher vibrational state for longer periods of time with less effort. You see, I was able all along to get into those higher vibrational states. It just was that they didn't sustain as long because of the environment that I was in. And they took more effort to get into, again, because of the environment that I was in. You know, it was energetically an opposition to what it was that I was creating vibrationally. So getting out on the road was really the key to setting myself free. And through that process, I just came up with tons and tons of material to share with you. And so today's tool is really all about how do you actually get what you want in life when seemingly everything is opposed to that. You know, we've got this limited mobility, we've got limited contact with other people, we have maybe limited resources, maybe you don't even have a job anymore, maybe you don't even have an income, I don't know. But I'm gonna do my best to share this with you and just cover all the bases for whatever circumstances that you find yourself in so that this is useful for you. And maybe you could actually just take it and teach it to your team and share it with your family and really raise the vibration in every area of your life. It will really truly serve you <laughs> above and beyond what you can possibly imagine. So the first key is that you realize it's more than just a visual. Now, vision boards became a very popular tool and i still think that they have their value the thing that's missing usually is the feeling part of that vision board it's really important whenever you have a vision for something in your life whether that's a vision that's inside of you that you're running or if it's a vision that and you clip out something from a magazine and you post on the wall. You know, you can see behind me um, some of the things that I have. I've turned my, my closet door <laughs> into my vision board um, because a poster board just wasn't big enough. And so there's a feeling for me, each one of those pictures, um, initially it conjured up a feeling now it literally fuels that feeling because I've been practicing the feeling enough times that I don't have to conjure it anymore. It's become second nature. And see, this is the value of repetition. You know, somewhere between three, seven, and 21 repetitions, and we have a new habit formed. So with that said, Whatever you're focusing on, if you focus on something negative, you know, you think about it two times, you think about it five times, you think about it 10 times, you think about it 20 times. We actually think about negative thoughts over 77% of the time during the day. So you can imagine how much momentum, I call that bandwidth, you can imagine how much momentum that builds up in your nervous system, creating perspectives, creating perceptions, 
creating focus and then pretty soon you look around your life and you wonder why your life sucks and it's because you've done all this background work thinking all these negative thoughts so getting into a visual that is inspiring that is something you're enthusiastic about and then adding feeling to it maybe it is a feeling of enthusiasm maybe it's a feeling of joy of love of oh my gosh i get to do this like i have this goal and now i get to go do this even those thoughts as light as they seem are the power of the wind beneath your sails and so it's about getting into the habit of that and practicing that so this is really the key to how it all started for me i started visualizing myself on the road in fact in july i did my first hike in zion and i hiked the narrows it's all in my vlog so you just want to read that and it's full of all sorts of patterning tools that will help you shift your state mentally and emotionally into really positive places um and i walked into this gas station this little remote gas station on the side of the road and there were all of these paper maps and it was like a dream come true so i bought up all the paper maps for all the states that i wanted to visit and I brought them home and I opened them up and I laid them out in my living room and on my dining room table and I got out highlighter pens and I started marking all of these different journeys that I would like to take. And as all of that was unfolding, it was leading up to Labor Day weekend. So I, I got on the road on Labor Day weekend and I have to tell you, you know, there was just this little spark. Well, maybe it was bigger than little. Maybe it was a mid-sized spark. In the back of my mind that said, you really should take your files and your laptop and just, you know, just in case you decide not to come straight home. So thank goodness, because I just was prepared to keep going. And um, I did, I kept going until the early part of October when I got home and and there's just so much I'd love to share with you. And you can start right now today with this tool that I've just taught you. So whether you actually create a vision board and start cutting stuff out of magazines and putting them up or not, make sure you spend time and it doesn't take much, you know, a couple minutes, five minutes, once a day, twice a day, visualize the life that you would like to have and make sure you get into the feeling of what that life is like and then watch it come because it is the feeling that is the energy it's like the glue that attracts what it is that you need to think that you need to be that you need to do who you need to talk to what you need to say it just literally starts connecting all of the dots and it looks like magic, but it's not. It's the way the universe works. It is quantum physics at its finest. So I am so happy to connect with you again. There's just so many great things that we're bringing to the table. There's a new website launching really soon for us and the blog. Um, we're reinventing my podcast and my YouTube channel. There's a business accelerator bootcamp we have coming up in December. See, the way I see it is we really have to take our focus and put it on what it is that we are creating because that's really what counts right now. So just in time, right after Thanksgiving and before Christmas, December 9th and 10th in Los Angeles with a bonus day on the 11th is the Business Accelerator Bootcamp 
turning your attention toward 2021. And we'll have some more details for you really soon on that. So thank you so much for being here. Make sure you start doing those visualizations, adding in the feeling part of it. Really bring it into your body, you know, your, your heart, your solar plexus, like really get into like, what does this really feel like? What would it really feel like to have the friends that you've always dreamt of having? You know, people that really are generous of spirit, people that really appreciate you and people that are growing and expanding and always looking toward the blessings. Imagine having people that celebrated you, that loved to see you be more, that championed your goals and your dreams with you and for you and surrounded you with that support. You know, just as an example, imagine what it would be like to have that kind of friendship base. So these are the sorts of things that when you start to pull together how this makes you feel to have this kind of life, then you can be, do, and have anything, anything at all. So I look forward to catching you on the next video. Make sure you jump onto my Instagram, which is N-E-I for change, N-E-I for change, and I upload a one minute clip every day, well, pretty much every day, that has really good information and a tool that will help you get through that day and make the absolute most of every part of it. So I will see you there and I will see you back here. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate building up these numbers so we can reach more people. Hit the bell button so every time I upload, you get a little notification. Definitely please give me a thumbs up if you like this content. And I'd love to hear what it is that you would like me to cover going forward. So make sure you leave a comment below. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.